I think we've got it. You can't know how much you're loved. But I'm afraid it's not ever been shown to you in this world. Not the love that I'm speaking of, which is the love of a mother for her child. Dear ones, when I look back on that career that was so beautifully given to me to fulfill, I can only be grateful eternally for the hearts that were touched and the souls that were turned towards the light. I knew one thing, that when I stepped upon the platform, I was not alone but in the communion of saints. And so I was able to bring that communion to these beloved. Indeed, some seemed so ragged, poor, destitute. But all could hear, couldn't they? They all could receive, and they did. And when the healing work began, oh, that was like the crowning glory of it all. You all can heal. And that is my point of truth, to which I witness this evening and forevermore. You are all healers. If you can accept that, you shall be doing the greatest service of all. Oh, say not, no, say not, not I, but instead, if you would, open your hearts, your minds, and receive the great, great Holy Spirit of healing, and let that comforter comfort all through you. Ask for healing, beloved. I know, I know, some have said. I've asked Estelle, I've asked. Countless times I've asked. And to you, sweetheart, I say, the healing you seek is occurring, but not in the way that you think. There is no such thing as a prayer unanswered much less for healing. You just might have your condition that you would be asking for healing to begin with. For what you cannot use is like the waters of overflow and they go out and heal others. So if you don't mind, keep praying, keep asking, and may the whole world be a healed love it. Together we can do it. I love you so much.